Hey, welcome back. Do you want to build a Google powered smart home? Let's start with the basics. First off, you will need home Wi-Fi. You're also going to need your smartphone and your smart tech of choice. Now, for a lot of people, starting with a smart speaker or a smart display is ideal because they not only offer their own level of smart functionality, like setting reminders, making calls, playing music, but they're also a massively convenient way of controlling the other smart devices in your home. This is the Google Nest Mini, just one in a whole family of Google Nest products, all of which powered by that Google Assistant. The same Google Assistant you're already familiar with thanks to its fantastic voice recognition, continued conversation and contextual search. Think about it, what do we do when we don't know the answer to something? Probably Google it, right? Well, with a Google powered smart speaker or display, not only do I have the power of Google search, but I also have the power of the other services that I'm using all the time anyway, like Google Maps and YouTube Music. So now, just by asking for it, I get exactly what I want, whether that's my commute time to work or my workout playlist. To get started, the first thing we need to do is download the Google Home app, which will allow us to set up, manage and control our smart home products. Once installed, it's as simple as heading to that plus button at the top of the page and selecting setup device. From here, we follow the on-screen instructions and you may even find it pops up automatically. Now, the Google Nest Mini we're setting up today is a device made for Google, so I can select this first option. If your device doesn't state this on the box, maybe it's a smart plug, chances are it's a product that works with Google and you'd select this second option and pick your product manufacturer from the list. But more on that in a minute. Once you've added your device, it will pop up on the Google Home front page and it's ready to use. But top tip, give your device a name that's easy to say and move it to its designated room in the Google Home app to help voice commands roll off the tongue. Hey Google, what's the weather like in London today? Right now in London it's 21 and partly cloudy. The forecast tonight is around 17 with showers. And the helpfulness doesn't end there either because we also have custom routines. Custom routines means a single command delivers multiple results. For example, Hey Google, good morning could tell you the time and the weather and play the radio, but it could also turn your lights on and set a custom temperature on your thermostat. Or it could tell you about your day, like your commute time and when your next meeting is. To set up a routine, simply head back into the Google Home app and select routines at the top of the page. From here, you can select a preset routine or create your very own from scratch with Manage My Routines. Let's do that now. Let's say I wanted my Google Assistant to wake me up at the weekend. I choose my day, my time, my speakers, and from there I can choose what else I want to happen. So for me, I could have my smart lights turn on, my smart plug in the kitchen turn on. I could also have my YouTube music playlist play after hearing about the weather. Basically any command you can give Google Assistant verbally, you can put into a routine, so get creative. Remember, Google Assistant works with thousands of devices across hundreds of brands, from smart thermostats to smart cameras, smart lights to smart plugs, TVs, washing machines, the list goes on. Chances are there's something in your home that Google Assistant already works with. Now, some of these devices will use their own app for getting set up, like my smart plug, for example. But once we've done that, we can jump back into Google Home. And remember that second works with Google option? That's what we click. From there, we can choose from a list of manufacturers, in this case, TP-Link, and then our device is added into our connected smart home. I can even change the name and choose what room it lives in. And it's as simple as that. Thank you all for watching and subscribing. I hope this helped you out, whether you're starting your own smart home or building on a current one. For more information and step-by-step -step guides, head over to support.google.com and don't forget to click that notification bell to stay up to date on all our latest videos. Till next time.